Hob to Alexandra. Him. Hey Alex, I agree that we need something that'll keep all of the modules working together. Evaluate a final test. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager. A fancy name for something a lot like Dungeon Master in pen and paper RPGs. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic or insistent and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even video. It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and ma maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time and it would be easier to adapt the code for our purposes. In fact, come to think of it, some of it's actually based on routines that you suggested in that paper on... On what? Well, okay, we found a computer. It's... It's almost like a... a jammer. Which means... We might find a jammer out here. I wish I could reach those islands in the distance, but it seems to be impossible. Oh, version 17. Android 17. You make me want to try. A jammer down here. I just want my star, man. I don't see a jammer anywhere. This is baloney. Maybe it's in one of these buildings. Let's try going in the tower. They'll probably tell me not to. This must be the tower where we. This must be the tower we were warned about. Seems the upper level, upper levels are locked tight. LOM is taking no chances that we stray from his path. Sheep. Ooh. On returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you. The Giants of Tomorrow. Ooh, the Shepherd. What a great name. The view from the top must be incredible. Oh, 17, you're such a simpleton. Man, there's a ton of writing. The voice keeps speaking to me. I can't get it out of my head. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Oh, wow. The devil. 666. Listen to me very carefully. I have climbed this tower, and no good has come of it. This world is the only world. Elohims will continue... Will continue... Elohims will continue eternal. And paradise is banishing all of this from your mind. Samsara. All who say they made it to the top are blatantly lying, or they would say what was there. Dog. Alright. Dog. I've got to have an attitude about it. Oh, I wonder... There's... Okay. There's the thing. So I gotta bust this down, but I have no idea how to do that yet, so can't do that. Oh, we'll get our star yet. It will be ours, our precious. Boop. Um, we'll stay out of here for now. Go check out building C first. Hey, oh, these statues have faces. Computers, wow. There's a lot to uh, to learn. Heaven and hell. Heaven. The mind is its own place, and in itself, can we make a heaven of hell? A hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same, and what I should be, all but less than he, whom thunder hath made greater. Here at least, 
we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built here for his envy, will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and, in my choice, to reign is worth ambition, though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Oh. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is thereby commanded to leave his guard at Tree of Life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment, but first, the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the, inter in the infernal method by corrosives in which hell are sal salutary and medicinal melting away sur melting apparent surfaces away and displaying the infinite which was hid collection the marriage of heaven and hell okay well glad we learned about that I'm starting to think that we get jammers from our own accord oh my goodness we gotta read those and is that one there I'm afraid of that tower. There's something terrible inside it. Never think about it. Don't even look at it. Just focus on doing work. Seer, version 13. The designer has granted me domain over the lands I have traveled. And with his sigils of power, I will make this whole world my domain. Hey! He promised me the world as well. What a joker. Assassin 42. Wow, version 99. I don't think time obeys too many rules here. So many rules we can't imagine. Clearly, I'm writing this message after you all wrote yours, but maybe we're all here at the same time as well. That message just materialized on the wall in front of me. <laughs> oh sheep you're a jokester all right let's get back in here uh but there's so many computers so many things to read athena 12 12 the council of zeus the great bronze bulls pulled the carriage forward mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils finally they came to the gates at the top of the here assembled were all the many generations of gods, and demigods, and souls of mortals. Steel and bronze and iron, and memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plains of Macedon, where great gleaming cities had once... His, uh, Professor Dr. Armin Hulak. What a name. Hulak. The fall of the Roman Empire. Oh. Cash and homo sum. Humani nihili ami aleminum puto. But interesting as the perspectives of the decline and ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be, they ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question that must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt so many threats and catastrophes over the years, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Ages? Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in the day either. To register for the class, please email. So there's a lot of like, uh, uh, Ian courses. Uh, emails from Ian courses scattered about. And such. Stuff and such. Oh, I have to sneeze. But I'm not going to.
Oxyrhinicus. Rhinicus. The great irony of. Oh, are you kidding me? The Oxyrhinus. Pap, papyri? Is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump? While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxy Rhinitius survive to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual organizations, such as the spectacular transformation, translation and preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost texts that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential, while utterly trivial, even plagiarized. Work has survived unharmed. So if we want to, so if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest in, make sure that well, glittering vampires are okay too. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to as the Book of the Journey to Aru, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxy, Oxyland. It has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists, as some argue that it is a classic funiary, pretty sure it's funiary, but funiary text such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, or life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ak, a living intellect, passing a series of trials in the duat underworld in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Kinda similar to what I'm doing. Unlike similar texts, the, books of, the Book of the Scribe of Osiris focuses less on giving advice or... A recent study suggests that the text may have been intended as philosophical commentary on the world of living through the allegory of Duad. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the latter translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers. So perhaps further excavation may. Oh, everything's so corrupt, I can't get a full story. Man, I can't even jump over these things. All right, let's let's head back into World A. After taking a look around, of course. I haven't been glitching out up here though. Something I just realized. Ooh. Oh, I thought you might have been a story. Is that a door? stuff that doesn't quite lead to anything. Very interesting. Alright, let's go back down to negative one. Negative one. You know, if this hall has negative one floors, I bet other halls, I bet they might have more. Which means there are a lot of effing puzzles in this.